what's up YouTube this is Prepper556 here today I'm going to do another review uh, on another piece of Condor gear that I have it is the Ripaway EMT pouch or Ripaway medical pouch uh, I find this to be a lot more convenient than their standard EMT pouch only because in, in uh, a time of uh, emergency where you need to gain access to it depending on where you put this you can rip it right off of your uh, gear just to hence the name Ripaway, where on the standard EMT pouch you have less compartments inside for storage and it's permanently attached to whatever you put it on via the Molly webbing system and if it's in a weird place you might not be able to access it yourself uh, in a time of need so this is my preferred uh, pouch for medical uh, purposes now for the review I actually only put uh, just some generic medical uh, supplies and, and equipment and stuff in here. It's not all inclusive and it's not what I carry uh, myself. One day I'll go over my stuff, but this is a review for the pouch. So, with that being said, we're gonna take a, we're gonna start right here. This pouch is Coyote Tan, but they also make it in olive drab, black, ACU, and multicam. I know that they make the EMT pouch in the new ATAX material. I'm sure they'll have this one available shortly. It does not come with the Red Cross uh, medical patch on it. I added that on there. I feel the patch is a better thing to do than to paint or, you know, write on it or whatever. It's uh, actually sold separately. It comes on its own little Velcro tab. So if you don't have a way to... Uh, actually insert it on anything you can uh, pretty much sew this on to whatever you want to do and you'll have a spot but it is sold separately through uh, I guess anybody that sells Condor products they should have this available um, now the way it attaches is Condor's uh, standard modular attachment system um, with the reinforced strap of course and their patented button snap you can also get a, a shoulder strap and attach it that way if you didn't want to carry it uh, on any piece of uh, gear you might own. And the panel itself is actually what you attach to that gear. I'll show you how it works. You have a cinch down strap in the front with the side release buckle. You would pop it off and it has a pull handle on it. To release it, you would actually just pull it off of the actual uh, uh, mounting panel that's on your gear. Take, I'm not going to take it off just because it'll get all uh, frayed up and I don't want that to happen unless I really have to because it reduces the strength if you keep taking it on and off. Then to gain access to the pouch, uh, pouch now that it's off of your uh, uh, piece of equipment, you pop open a little retention strap and you basically just unzip the pa uh, pouch. Now, once you open it up, it folds out into three compartments. As you can see, I loaded it up with some medical supplies here. Uh, tons of storage. We'll start with this section here. A little retention strap, area to put some uh, face masks and whatever. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the uh, section here. has some elastic molly webbing sewn in so you can put different things. In this case, I have a Leatherman Monarch flashlight just in case you have to see what you're doing at night or check somebody's uh, eyes for dilation or whatever it might be. A couple pieces of uh, just rolled up gauze and bandages. Some Purell hand sanitizer. Uh, sanitizer uh, ah, can't talk today, I'm sorry. Purell hand sanitizer. Um, just, you know, make sure you're a little sterile. I mean, you can replace this with alcohol, iodine. I mean, I'm just using this to give you an idea of the size bottle. That's, uh, there's another little small uh, area here you can put something in. I just didn't fill it with anything, but that's this section. I just put some cotton balls in here. I don't know, splinter out to get, of course, splinters out. This is a, a double section of elastic in this area. You can use it to put an alcohol bottle, uh, whatever. More expandable, this is a survival blanket, but more expandable Molly. Another additional uh, pouch here. 
Uh, I don't know, I just threw some uh, surgical equipment, tweezers, accessories. Um, another huge expandable Molly strap with another one on top of it. You have two of those. There are on this pouch and this pouch little anchor points so you can maybe put a roll of surgical tape and whatever else you might want to attach to it. Something with a carabiner or a clip or just something that we won't lose whatever you're trying to uh, keep in there. There's one here, here, and here, and here. And you have another fold out little mesh bag. And just in here you just unzip it and for the sake of the review I just threw a bag of all different burn cream, first aid ointment, whatever. As well as just another little bag of uh, band-aids. You can fill that up with tons of stuff. I mean, it's pretty huge. The entire interior of the pouch is kind of lined with this uh, vinyl material. They attempt to keep it waterproof as much as possible. It's all backed with all this stuff. Um, I still recommend actually putting everything in some kind of a, you know, a Ziploc bag or something just to make sure that it maintains the water tightness. You really don't want your medical supplies getting wet. But they do, uh, they do attempt to make a majority of the pouch uh, waterproof. Whether it would hold up, I don't know. I never really had the pa uh, pouch out in the rain yet or attempted to get it wet. So we'll see how that works. And the zipper itself is not like the hydration uh, or the H2O uh, pouch where the zipper is sealed. Well, I guess you can say it is for the most part. Very, very small uh, teeth on there. I guess it would prevent water from getting in for the most part. But probably not 100% waterproof. And that is really the pouch in a nutshell. I mean, you have Velcro on the front, like I said, to mount different uh, patches. In this case, I actually have the Red Cross. I didn't get them in yet, but I'm going to have uh, my blood type uh, patch on here from myself, my wife, and my two kids. So we all know, God forbid, uh, if one of us doesn't provide treatment and we have to go into a, a hospital in a SHTF situation, hopefully they're still operating and, you know, you do, you do, hopefully there still is some kind of you, uh, humanity going on here where people can help each other out. If they need blood, they'll know what our blood type is. You can always put you know, medical records and stuff in here also. Keep it in a water uh, tight bag. It has Molly webbing in the, in the front for you to attach more. Uh, patches, maybe, a, uh, I didn't put it on here, but they sell also a little uh, a latex glove patch, uh, no, pouch on there. There's a whole bunch of different things you can do with this. It's a nice little uh, setup here once you got it going. So, I'll give you another example of what I used uh, one for. This one here, I actually have in Multicam. And I, I don't know if you saw my review on my first aid only uh, kit. Well, the second one that I got, I actually put in this uh, pouch. So I can attach it uh, and take off and do a little bug out of the area and whatnot. And this one has all my uh, survival uh, supplies in it for uh, one person for three days. You can always re refer to that review to see what they are. But... It all fits in here nicely as well, and it was a more convenient and heavy-duty uh, pouch than that came with the kit. So, I mean, like you see, the num uh, the options are are plentiful. Now, I'll show you something here. Condor's quality is usually pretty good, and they've been knocked around quite a bit. But there are things that happen that make it that they can improve on. In this case, if you notice the Molly webbing is actually going the wrong way. I mean, going back to this pouch, it's supposed to go that way. So they made an error. All right, big deal. Did the uh, pouch become non-useful? No, as you can see, I actually used it for something else. I mean, deal with it and figure out what your options are and make good of the situation. That's what prepping is all about. That's what survival is all about. Uh, so, you know, you just gotta, you gotta use your brain a little, people. Yeah, I mean, is the quality not there? No, I mean, this thing still is a rugged, uh, you know, uh, pouch. I mean, I don't know why everybody knocks them. But I guess to each his own. If you want to spend $100 more for something else, knock yourself out. That being said, this is the review of the Condor Ripaway EMT pouch.